Hello everyone. So today's video is going to be about the MRS education competition. It's about writing an essay. I know by hearing it's about writing an essay is a little bit anxiety as writing an essay is not easy, especially for the competitions. But I'm going to tell you that they will give you a guide to how to write an essay as steps that even will help you in the future. Uh, for applying for a college or university uh, so this this program is going to help you even um, even in the future not not if if even you did not been accepted it will help you uh, with the things that you learned of how to write an essay uh, yes uh, the essay is about to write 500 maximum and that will tell you about everything about the things that you have to write about um, yes, and we go through the application together. Uh, but before this, do not forget to make sure to your friends so that they get to know um, this competition and they also apply for it. It's for international students. Um, and also subscribe to my channel. I feel motivated when I know that many people got, uh, got to get to know about uh, this scholarship so that I get to know that I have benefit more people and I'd be happy. So yes, as don't forget to share it for your friends and other people. Yes, and let's continue the videos to know every step and go through everything. It's a 100% scholarship award for summer school essay competition. The, there's an important thing that I didn't, I forgot to tell you about that uh, you will have to choose the subject that you are passionate about to go on study at the end. If you got a 100% scholarship. Uh, so let's start. From here, you receive a free guidance of how to write uh, tips for writing an academic essay. Uh, so you have to put your name here, your last name, and the important thing is email. So that they email you, where, uh, they email you with the tips of how to write an academic essay. A student and then you will submit it. Uh, this is a girl who got a hundred percent scholarship. Her name is Alyssa. So if you ten ten winners will receive a hundred percent scholarship, and seventy person will um will be uh, will take a scholarship of seventy percent. Some people will be awarded a partial scholarship to up to seventy percent. And the other seven percent of entrants receive a scholarship funding to attend an MS program. And as I told you here, uh, you hear that to study your chosen subject to MS, all of them, even the hundred percent scholarship, all of you will have to um, choose a subject to. And I forgot to tell you that thirty one August two thousand twenty two, the competition will be uh, closed, and first October two thousand twenty two, the results will be announced. Who can apply? Everyone. Students of all nationalities will be aged 13 to 18 during the summer of 2023. So you're going to apply now for 2023. Um, entry form. From here, you apply. Amherst Education State Competition. First name, um, your last name, uh, your preferred pronouns, date of birth, a student nationality, student email address. And here, your parent guardian details. First name, last name of parents, school information, school location, and uh, if you do not have a school advisor, you can write the teacher or uh, or the email of your teacher. And here, how did you hear about the Emirates essay competition? Uh, from my school, from my friend, entry. Here is the important thing. Which age category are you entering for? If you're 13 to 15 you have to write an essay and you choose from here uh, what is the thing that you want to uh, what's the subject that you want to study there and you are most passionate about it and you have to write about it in an essay um, and also if you chose like 16 to 18 it's the same thing and there's also ha um, uh, written in English with maximum 500 words it have to be and and your advice to say another hmm and you have to use the Oxford referencing style while writing your essay. You're gonna choose from here what you which subject you would like to take. Um, biology, if you choose biology, 
eventjes bij Elsie. Or architecture. Or business. And you have to select a file. Chemistry. And I found that there's a geography one. See, there in, in geography, there's no, I see, writing. Which is the risk of writing geography or taking geography as it's an essay competition and there's no essay of, for geography. It's a risk, but if you're, it's a risk, why is it a risk? Uh, as it's an essay competition. Essay competition. Maybe the, um, the subject, they do not take it there or even if they take it um, or may that they do not have many students that take geography. So maybe if you apply for geography, they will take you, uh, or they it's a say compute it's an essay competitions. Maybe they will not take you, uh, for applying for geography. But the most important thing is that if you like geography or you're passionate about the subject, you got you're gonna take it. You're gonna take this risk. But if not, you're gonna choose the subject that you are mostly passionate about. And in the last year, declaration, essay specification, top tips of writing and say you have done all of this, and that you were submitted, and that's um, the Emerson Education Scholarship. And I wish you all the luck, and do not forget to make subscribe, and share to your friends that I feel I know that you're passionate about to you know about other scholars, other scholarship, and um. I will be happy to post them if you're passionate about them too. And thank you for watching and see you in another video.